Hey everybody, welcome to the Blue Collar Beer Gentlemen. I'm Topher. I'm a fan of craft beer, but I'm also on a limited budget. So I started this channel to prove that it was possible to enjoy good quality beers without having to break the bank. And while I'm here, I try to demystify craft beer and break through some of the elitism that surrounds it. So I'm always looking for the best deal when it comes to my selections, and today I made a pretty good uh, deal. It's a pint can, for which I paid $3.67, of the After People, which is a milk stout that is a collaboration between Brewery West and Humble Sea. And wow, let's get that back. So now you can see. Now that, folks, this is all stickers here. Okay, this is stickers. Some stickers laid on top of one of another stickers. This is some serious, serious sticker work here, guys. That's, that's not just cutouts. These are actual stickers sitting on top of each other. I don't know how long it must have taken to put this thing together, but holy cow. Um, I am not familiar with either of these breweries. Uh, the Brewery West or Humble Sea haven't had, uh, I have no experience with either one of them. Um, <clears throat> I will say that I've, I've never been particularly fond of milk stouts. Uh, when I do drink a, a sweet stout, milk stout, or something like that, chocolate stouts, I always like to get them nice and cold. So I've had this thing at the very, very back of the fridge for a couple of days now. Um, let's see, it was there, milk stout, cacao nibs, vanilla, lactose, malted barley, flaked oats, raw spelt. Okay, keep cold. And Brewery West is located out of San Pedro. Let's see if I can find out. Humble Sea is out of San, Santa Cruz, so this is a California uh, milk stout. It does have a 6.0 ABV. Typically, American stouts come in between 5.0 and 7.0. Um, I only had two friends on Untapped who have reviewed this, and their cumulative score between those two is 4.13. 820 of us have ta have checked in on Untapped on this beer, giving it a collective score of 3.91. There's only been one ranking on Beer Advocates, so it does not have a uh, a collective score, but the the score that it was given was a 3.99. So it's gotten very high marks across the board. Um, I don't think there's much more to say about this. I mean, it's it's a it's a stout. It's uh, I don't think the... Okay, wait, yeah, okay. Here we go. Let me read this to you real quick. This is the description from the brewery. Our wild and cookie friends at Humble Sea in Santa Cruz, California, are the epitome of fun, and fun is exactly what has been... Exactly what has had... What was had when collaborating on this delicious 6% milk stout we've dubbed After People. Using a heavy helping of cacao nibs, vanilla, and milk sugar, After People is the brewer's approach to an adult chocolate milk. Flavors of deep, roasty, dark chocolate, balanced perfectly by the smooth sweetness of vanilla, will have you wondering if this is in fact a collaboration with Yoohoo, but it's not. It's not a collaboration with Yoohoo, it's a collaboration with Humble Sea. So, there's a description of the beer. Um, there you have it. Uh, so, let's go ahead and, and crack this bad boy open, get to some drinking. I am going to be using my Porter Stout glass. <clears throat> if you will note, this is slightly different than your standard pint glass, so it kind of caves in here on the side. Notice the rounded bottom down here, and then the flare-out up top here. Well, well the flare-out's the same uh, on, a, on a Boston shaker, but what you normally see at the breweries are Boston shaker glasses that are used in lieu of pint glasses. This is actually a pint glass, but is a, a more geared toward the porter stout varieties. Remember that all stouts are porters, not all porters are stouts. I, for one, actually kind of prefer porters to stouts. I like brown ales. I've been a big fan of brown ales these past couple of years. Alright, so this is pouring very, very dark, and I'm going to describe that as medium-high carbonation. You can't really see them very much, because they're super tiny and the beer is so dark, but there's actually a lot of little bubbles coming up through there. That head, while it is thick, is not particularly resilient. I mean, I'm seeing bubbles popping, boom, 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 boom. I'm, uh, what you're seeing there on the camera is about the same color as this beer. Maybe a little bit darker, but uh, this is a very dark brown, just the slightest hint of auburn or red to it. And I think that's mostly coming from the uh, from the lighter um, head on top. Let me give this a quick beard wipe, see what I encounter. <sighs> smells boozy, actually. Uh, well, I, I smell cocoa, don't get me wrong, I got the cocoa, but I'm a little surprised it smells uh, a booziness, considering I've only got a 6% ABV. But, um, you know, maybe that'll wear off in a second. Let me stick my schnoz directly and see what else I can find. <sighs> I gotta tell you, mostly what I'm getting is the cacao. I'm not really picking up on the vanilla... Um, maybe a little bit of the milk, or the, the lactose. There's a, an underlying sweetness behind the cacao, because cacao is not particularly sweet. Um, so, anyway, I think I should quit uh, talking about this beer and start drinking it. Cheers.
Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, that might have to be my favorite milk stout. First impressions. Uh, I'm going to describe that as a low mouthfeel, not even medium low. There's really no spikiness to it whatsoever. And even though I did experience a little bit of booziness on the uh, on the fumes when I was uh, I did my uh, I stuck my schnoz in, um, I didn't. Uh, I'm not experiencing the booziness now. I've already got some pretty nice lacing. It is chocolatey without being too chocolatey. And you know, the more I think about it, I am going to bring that up to a medium low, not just low, but medium low. There's the slightest bit of spikiness to it, but not a whole lot. It is very chocolate centered. It's not particularly boozy. Um, he said you, they said you might think it was a collaboration with Yuhu. I I can get that because this is uh, it, it's it, it's it's good, but it's not. Um, it's not super chocolatey. I don't feel like I'm. It's not fudgy. You know, sometimes they 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 get so uh, enamored with the chocolate. Sometimes brewers that you end up with this almost fudge uh, nature to it. This is not fudgy at all. This is in fact what I would call a uh, well. I call it exactly what it is. It's it's a milk stout, and it's a really good one. And uh, I think uh, I can't believe that I'm I'm so fond of a milk stout. Don't get me wrong, I like stouts. I like porter. As I said, I like porters better, but um, I'm just kind of surprised with this. The problem with milk stouts is that there's often this very strange aftertaste. I'm not experiencing that with this at all. Um, it's chocolatey. I think it's the vanilla that's kind of bringing down the uh, the uh, the fudginess of the chocolate. So it's actually we're getting like an actual a true chocolate flavor instead of that fudginess flavor that I mentioned before. <sighs> Rolls around the, the mouth really, really nicely and just slides right down the tongue. Um, yeah, I've got, like I said, I, I've never at this point been happy with any uh, milk stout that I've had really and, and until this one. Uh, this one definitely, I think this one deserves a 4.0 and I'm going to give it a, it's going to get a cumulative 4.25 on Untapped um, because it came in a can, so it's going to get that extra 0.25. And those of you who watch this channel regularly know that I'm a big fan of cans. So, um, but uh, anyway, yeah, 4.25 for this. This, as I said, is a collaboration between Brewery West and Humble Sea. Never had any uh, beers from either one of these uh, breweries before, but you better believe I'm going to be looking for them uh, as I go down the road. And uh, we'll definitely be trying to check out more from these California brewers. Well, guys, if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, drink good beer and don't break the bank doing it. Cheers.